Welcome to another Teach Tip with Mr. Long and we're looking at exam papers and we have done a couple of videos where we looked at how we can set exam papers and do the memos. Now let's pretend you've got an exam paper and it's all set and you want to give it to other staff members for moderation or for comments just so that you can see what their views are and so sometimes you would print out an exam paper and pass it around and you get all the different comments but you can do this all in one place if you just have one document that you send around digitally and you can have all the comments in one document and the way that we're going to set that up is I'm going to go to my exam paper there I've got I've got some random questions okay let's pretend they, they are good questions and we've got some a memo at the bottom for example and so let's just pretend that we're gonna go okay um, I want to send this to my colleagues and get their feedback. Maybe they've got suggestions of changes or any comments on the paper. And instead of them writing it on the physical paper, I'm just going to come here to the view. I think it's actually review. Review tab. There we go. The review tab. And over here by track changes, I'm going to set track changes to set on for everyone. So when I do that, what that means is it's going, now going to keep track of whatever changes are made to this document and who made changes. When you are in your Microsoft package, obviously you've logged on and so it's got your details. So now if I make changes to this particular paper, let's say um, I say, hey, this is actually not out of 120, it's out of 130. So I'm going to delete that and type in 3. Oh. Now do you see it's all red there now. It's actually showing what I've deleted and what I've added. And then if I go to questions, I can explain the humor in the following statement and then say that is above. Do you see how my text is in red? It's just showing all the changes that I am making. If I've made a delete, maybe I want to say who is the statement directed at? Um, give examples for each. Let's say I don't want the word reason there and I take it out, for example. So things like that. So every little bit of changing that I make, it's actually marking it. Um, and so... Even if I come here to the memo and say, hey, this is actually, I would actually change that. That's actually a one there and that's a zero. So doing little things like that. So I've made a couple of changes. So when someone else is viewing it or once, once you get the paper back, you can actually go and you can go to the reviewing pane and you can set it up. It's set it up. I like it always on the side. So vertically. And then you can see all the changes that the different people that made. Now, I'm the only one that's made changes. But if you've sent this to other people, you'll see their names and what changes they've made. So you can see that. And that. And when you come here, you can go to the original. If you want to go back to the originals to see so all those changes were undone. Um, you can do simple markup. You can do, there are lots of little options where you can say, where it shows you what it looks like now, but you can obviously see there are being edits in the line it just indicates hey there's an edit over here and if you click on it show the change it actually shows you the change you can go back to it to be able to undo so you can show what changes have been made so this is what it fi the final product looks like if those changes are accepted and so you can do that and you can view all the changes from a specific person obviously one person's only been involved now but you can look at all that you can look at all the insertions and deletions only the formatting and balloons we'll talk about the balloons now which are comments and you can go around, you can actually go and you can accept changes. Now, there's only been one person that's been making changes, so you can you'll just accept all the changes. But if multiple people were making changes, then you can accept all the changes of a particular person. So, like, if I right-click here, I can accept this insert. So, yes, we're going to accept that one. And then it, it, makes, it adds it to the original. It's now part of the original. So, there we go. We accepted it. That one, we're going to reject that particular change. We don't want that one. So, it'll undo that particular one. And so on. And you can go around and do that as you are moderating your paper. Other things that you might want to do is you can actually do things like, so let's say, oh, I've got a problem with this date. We're going to move the paper. So, I'm going to right-click on there. And you can actually, I think there will be an option to add a comment. I think there's new comment over there. So if I add a comment to go, hey, the, the, pap the paper may be written in April now. So I'm just writing a little comment about it. So there we go. So I write a little comment. So now there's a little comment over there. You'll see the comment will appear in the revisions and that, but it's not like a change. It's just a little comment there. And when you, you can view your particular comment, you can show the comments, you can take it away to hide comments. And then when you click on it again, you can see that the, there's a comment there. When you click on it, you can see what that comment is. 
So that gives you a little bit more of flexibility with regard to people making comments about the paper. Maybe this question too difficult, this one's too easy, and so on. So you can make those little changes. So just by using track changes, you can easily keep track of what people are suggesting, what their views on the paper, and you've all got it in one document so that you don't have to worry about having multiple different files and so on. So there we go. So that's what I suggest when you are sending your paper for moderation or for checking, that you make use of track changes and comments. Just a, a reminder, if you are going to print the paper, make sure that your comments are off. Make sure that you're not showing the comments, where, that they're not there. You don't want to be able to see the comments when you are printing the paper. So don't, don't do that. So there you can see the comments on the side. Make sure that you can't see the comments. And also make sure that you've got your final changes that you've want to, that you've accepted and stuff like that. So you can go look at the final product in that. And so there we go. The other videos that we mentioned, you can find on our YouTube channel. Go to the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Click on the video tab and you'll see all the videos we've done in the past. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.